Hi, welcome to this episode of Your Black World News. I'm your host, Roosevelt Mitchell III. Today I am joined by a special guest who is an educator and an author of five books, Mrs. Rosetta Lucas Quisenberry. She has published a five-book series titled A Saga of the Black Man. And book one is titled The Black Man, book two, The Black Woman, book three, The Black Child, book four, The Black Family, and book five, which is the most powerful things, people, and places we must always remember. How's it going today, Mr. Quisenberry? It's going just great, sir. I thank you so much for your time, and I also thank you so much more for putting out these highly important texts, especially in a day and age where black men are being shot down and the black woman is being thoroughly disrespected and the black family is, you know, it's pretty much breaking apart. So I would like for you to tell the audience a little about your books uh, or about their importance. Like, why did you write the books? First of all, it's a history that we have not been told. We have not been told this history. We haven't been shown it. We don't know the significance of it. And why not tell us about ourselves? That might keep us from killing each other, shooting each other, destroying the other one. This history is most important. It's not even explained to us in the in the school system, in colleges and universities, where it must be talked about and discussed. Ms. Quisenberry, tell people what you taught as an educator. I taught social studies as an educator. I taught history. Right. The U.S. So, government. So, so these books. So it's not like you're just a person who just wrote a book haphazardly about history. Like no, you taught history. You taught history. So you, you know, you researched thoroughly. So, um, what issues specifically does your books address? My the books address many many issues: racism, um, stereotypes that we were called named. It was when things were not politically correct. Uh, let's see. What, 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 we were called the N-word. Uh, you can see all the images they, they made of us and, and how they poked fun at us and how they destroyed, helped to destroy our self-image of ourselves, which is most important. How you perceive yourself is most important. And that also teaches you how you're going to perceive other folk. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so, the destruction of our race not only was was um, taught to us, but it was it, it kept on being reiterated. Uh, they repeated it to you over and over and over. They repeated it to you in books like... Um, um, the 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 black book right here back here the wait a minute let me get this book out so you can so you can really feel it right here the little sambo books um they taught it to you in sambo books they taught it to you in figurines they taught it to you in uh, the images that they made of you they taught you how to hate your own hair how you hate your own color how you uh, were raggedy, how you were um, big-lipped, uh, how you ate chicken. Um, they they just destroyed the black family. They called the, the black man uh, Mumbo. Uh, black Mumbo made him a beautiful red coat. Um, and Jumbo, Mumbo, Jumbo, and Sambo. I mean, come on, people. Mm. So so are your books just history-oriented? Like when people pick them up, would they just read about those things, or do you mm. offer something else? When you, the when, when you pick up these books, you will see the images. It's, this is a pictorial history where you see the pictures, and they've got the little cartoons. All of it's made in cartoons. Are it's got pictures of where you're working in the field uh, as a slave. It's got 
let's see. Let let me show you something else. It's got the 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 black man on the docks setting as a worker. He says the Negro River roustabout. Um it's got all kinds of history that we haven't been told. And and let me tell you one other thing. They wouldn't even allow my books in the public in the school public libraries. Who would did you hear what I said? In, Who wouldn't allow it? My school system here in Fayette County would not allow me to put my books in their libraries. In, Why not? in the public school library. Because they said it had not been published by a publisher. A publishing company didn't publish these books. I self-published these books. I put my house up three times, three different ways to make sure that I had the money to publish these books. Nobody has intended for you to see this, this history. Mm. It's taken me over 40 years to to put it all together and get it out there and get it out here as e-books even so you can just download it and see it. You don't even have to take my word for it. You can download it on Amazon.com, from Amazon.com, and put my name, Rosetta Lucas Quisenberry, in that thing, and, and all of my uh, books will come down, will come up. Uh, Ms. Quisenberry, yes. how, how, uh, how does your books empower the readers? How do these books empower the readers? Right. It shows you the the history that nobody wanted them to see. They wanted you to know about this. They had swept this history under the rug, and it took me going around from 1974 up to this present moment, buying materials, digging it out, looking for it, putting it together. They start. I started out looking for postcards, just little little bitty postcards like you get through the mail and i and i just happened by chance upon it i tell that in the first book a saga of the black man but what i tell and show you is it's awesome it's phenomenal let's put it that way give us something give the listener something from your fifth book is titled things people and places we must always remember we must always remember here here here's, 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 here's Here's an example. Uh, I, I show you negative, negative stuff, bad stuff, as well as positive stuff or good stuff that we made of ourselves. I, I have a, a, a real good one of just a little black girl, uh, weaving, uh, domestic arts and sciences. And it says from Hampton Institute. I've got Tuskegee, Alabama. Um, the, 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 the Tuskegee School, I've got the Hampton Institute in this book. Great pictures, positive images. And I've also got in the fifth book, let me just turn to some of them, uh, where it says Colored Children's Orphan Home and Industrial School. I've got, uh, pictures of School for Colored People in New Albany, Indiana. I've got um, all kinds of pictures where they show you uh, the little black children, and they've got a caption, Six Little Pickaninnies, what we call pickaninnies. I've right. got uh, the, the type of work that they've got where black men are scraping pine trees in the turpentine industry in the South. I've got pictures of black men where it says uh, uh, orange harvest time, in Florida, the black men are the black men are up in the trees picking the oranges, and the white men are down on the ground supervising the picking. Um, wow! Wow! I, you, so what are some, it's what are some that places you need to see? Right, 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 right. Because you know we know that they say that pictures are worth a thousand words. More and, than more than that, even. I've got I've got pictures of banks in here, 
uh in things, people and places that where they call the 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 they got the stereotype images of the woman looking like a monkey, the little boy, real thick lipped, and they call him the young nigger bank. And then they call the, the black woman Diana. Uh Diana. And Diana means not is she just a worker, but she's also like something you put the baby on and feed it. Um, here's another book, uh, another picture in the book called the Jolly Nigger Bank. These are real metal banks that people played with and used. Oh, it's just it's just more than you can say if you can't actually see the the uh, images. You can actually see the positions that they held for us, which is the black men as cooks, and just like the um, oh, what's that? The the cooking the 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 cream of wheat box where they had a black man. Well, in right. here it showed you the old images of where they had black men in in their uniforms and the and the hats, and they were painted jet black. With big thick lips and things, ah, it's mm-hmm. just stuff that wow. you need to have. You need to see, and and I, the reason I'm so proud of this interview being in uh, February is because this is Black History Month. This is something like we it. need to teach. Yes, this is something we need to teach our children. And I made the prices so low; the books don't cost but five dollars ninety nine cents. If you download them as ebooks, you can be looking at it right, right while I'm talking to you right now. So, you what age those. group is the books for? Age group? There's not an age group. From eight to eighty. Eight to eighty. Eight All to right. eighty. Oh. And again, I thank you and commend you for taking decades to put this book series together because I do think that it's very. It's very interesting how a school system could tell you that because you didn't have someone else telling your story as a black woman or a black culture story, that they don't want to put the books inside the library. That right? And that's that's not only a crime; it's a shame and a crime because here is where you could expose these children that you haven't correctly told them their history, all of their history. Because you need to tell them where you, what you did to put them down. And, the, and an, another reason might be because on page two in the Black Child's book, in the Black Child's book, they've got it where they themselves had, had made a play. Um, about black children. Let me I can just turn to this page and and you can hear it where they it called it's called the Newsboys and Boot Blacks Minstrel Show. They had and it was presented by Picadone School on Friday, December the fifth, nineteen forty seven. My school system participated in calling you boot blacks and made a play about it. That's one of the reasons they don't want to show this to children, because they participated in our destruction and our demise as well. Mm. And, and it shows the entire cast of people, and I believe some of these people might still be alive. I don't know. But it was 1947, and these children were mighty young. You can tell the the uh, people were young here. So I mean, if they if they still around, they're not too too terribly old that they couldn't remember this. It's the actual play, I, and I show it to you. Wow. And here's wow. another thing in the Black Child book. It says, "Look out for black male," and and that's a play on words. You got to be able to figure out the um, what does that picture t- is saying to you, and it's saying, "Watch out for the black, not male, M A I L." They're saying, watch out for the black man, M-A-L-E. Oh, it, it's something. Yeah. That's why, yeah. that's exactly why you don't, you haven't heard of this. And, it's, and I'm very thankful to you, Mr. Mitchell, for allowing this to go out on the airways so we can think, look it up. I thank you so much for writing it 
and I thank you so much for taking time to speak with me so we can put it out there. And, again, you know, this is a powerful book series. Book one is called The Black Man. Book, book two, The Black Woman. Book three, The Black Child. Book four, The Black Family. And book five, Things, People, and Places We Must Always Remember. Uh, Ms. Quisenberry, I thank you so much for your time, but I would like to give you the last word and let the audience know whatever you would like for them to know that you, know, that you hadn't already said. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I'm saying go buy the books. Look at them. Put them out there on your coffee table. Or you can download them to your computers, to your watches, to your uh, iPhones, to your uh, iBooks. I don't know what all they, they call it because I'm I'm not from this generation where I, I was grew up with it. See? But I'm telling you, it's a must see. It's a must read. It's a must know. You need to talk about this around your dinner tables and then you need to talk it to each other. Each one teach one. Don't just get the information and and let it lay dormant. Talk about it. Show it to other folks. Too many of our men are being gunned down here in this society today. Tell our children, tell your grandchildren about this history. Share it with your families. Praise God for me yes. just getting this much airtime to tell yes. about it. Thank you, sir. I thank you. I thank you. And I hope you all enjoyed this segment of Your Black World News. And until next time, my friends, be blessed and be encouraged.